ahead and move forward to our first story is um, Steve Carell is going to be starring in a bank robbery movie called Conviction. It's basically going to be like <clears throat> a comedy version of um, Tower Heights. Not like Tower Heights. It's going to be like Ocean's Eleven, but I believe it is going to be like Tower Heights because oh, that's what they said. Tower Heights is supposed to be like Ocean's it, Eleven. Yeah, it's sad. I what what is your take on Steve Carell's career? I mean, he's left the office. He's tried to do movies. I mean, what do you think? I mean, you know, it, wow. What? Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to say I don't have a take on his career really. I mean, I really barely watched The Office. Um, I didn't like that first person cam thing going on. Forty year old virgin. I really haven't seen anything i can go ooh ah about yeah i agree i mean after he really 40 year old virgin is what you've been riding on the coattails of people remember you from anchorman they remember you from get smart but it really isn't that good i mean even date night people said it was average but um we're gonna be talking about is jason statham he's gonna be in this movie called hummingbird it's a london pick so it's probably not gonna make it here to america it's probably just gonna be one of those um straight to dvd blu-ray releases but you know after he did the movie killer elite that didn't really do too well in the box office uh people are kind of wondering if he even has that star power to stay up now joe i mean you enjoy transporter right the first one right yeah that's yeah, definitely the first one second one i would like to erase that from my memory but um yeah, the first one was great, and I think actually the third one was pretty good too, if I remember correctly. You know, he's he's actually tagged to to um, be added to not only uh, Expendables two and Expendables three, he's also tagged to be in Transformers four and five, and then Fast and the Furious twenty and fifteen. I don't remember how many Fast and Furious are, but he's he's supposed to be tagged into all these movies. So do you think he's a better actor when he's tagged on with other actors, or is he just getting lost in the fray? Oh, I think actually he's a pretty good actor. Um movie or the script choices that he's getting lately aren't so great and he probably needs to dial it back a little bit i've seen pretty cheesy movies with him in it and i actually like king or something like that in the name of the king yeah yeah that was pretty good flick um but then i like those kind of movies anyway so Didn't um, that, but he did pretty good in that who, who was in that is it tom Selleck wasn't he in it tom Selleck. wow i'm maybe somebody looked like him i don't think he actually played that no burt reynolds the tom Selleck look-alike on Jason, you know, what is he, uh, British, right? I yeah, mean, he's British, of course. Yeah, so I'm kind of thinking, um, he would make like a really cool bond. It's, a, that, that's funny <laughs> that you mentioned he'd make a good bond because that's a perfect segue to our next article here. Um, it's the latest bond called Skyfall. It's coming out next year, so it's going to be November 9th, 2012. Uh, I know you're a big Bond fan. What is your take on the, the new Bond and the fact that he's going to be pushed into yet another movie? Are we talking about Daniel Craig? Oh, yes, Daniel Craig. Yeah, I'm thinking that Jason Statham could kick Daniel Craig's butt any day and should take the part and call himself Bond. But, um, but you know, I, I don't know. I, my uh, take on it is I really think that we get someone a little bit more believable. And it would be cool to have Jason Statham. Jason Statham was never in the running for um, James Bond because he's missing one key element, hair. Um, who was in, in the running was uh, Clive Owens. And Clive Owens was actually in the running. He did the movie Shoot 'em Up. And Clive, Clive Owens has already played Bond, hasn't he? Clive like, Owens? Long time no, he didn't. Not Clive Owens. I could have sworn Clive or somebody looks just like him. Alright, so that brings us on to our next one, the Red Band trailer of 21 Jump Street. Uh, I just watched it, uh, Joe has not, um, but I'll just run down who's actually in the movie. Ice Cube, Johnny Depp, and then you also have Chad Tatum and uh, Jonah Hill, who is also uh, in the movie. This movie, uh, when I saw the trailer, it actually was cut as a comedy, and I, I don't get it, because Jonah Hill and Chad Tatum are supposed to be like best friends and in the police academy, and then they become uh, part of 21 Jump Street, which is run by Ice Cube. Uh, Joe, you used to grow up watching the uh, 21 Jump Street. Do you think this is a correct adaptation of what we should be expecting? Um, honestly, I really don't think people will really care. I, I don't have that um, like warm, fuzzy feeling for the show. So uh, <clears throat> to actually have them adapt another television show into a movie is, once again, quite irritating. Um, and the fact that they're making it into a comedy, I don't know. I, I, it just, I don't think people are just going to run to the box office and see this. Uh, just, maybe it's my take on it. 
uh, all those names that you call off, I barely recognize anybody except for Jonah Hill and um, Ice Cube. Well, Chad Tatum, he was the one who played Duke and G.I. Joe. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, the dancer guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So okay. there you go. Let's let's move on to our Netflix top picks. Uh, Netflix top picks is us picking our favorite TV show or movie that's on Netflix's uh, Instant Queue. I'm picking a canceled TV show. Big surprise. I'm a big fan of shows that has been canceled for some reason. Uh, There's a show called Father of the Pride. It's a hilarious show. Um, it's made by the same people who did uh, Shrek. Oh, mine would be... Um... Uh, it's a movie, actually. It's called The Warrior's Way. Um, it's more of a uh, fantasy action film. Uh, it's Korean, I believe. Uh, it actually has a few American actors in there, like uh, Jeffrey Rush and uh, Danny Houston and uh, I believe Tony Cox. And also Kate Bosworth is in it. So from what I saw, I didn't watch the whole thing. I said I was going to finish it this weekend. I'm MorningJoe.com for all of your entertainment news. Uh, you know, we plan on doing this once a week. It might not be uh, both me and Joe. We might be alternating out different characters, but the show will be the same. So until next time, this is Odie and saying goodbye. Joe, like any parting words? Uh, talk to you later. Thank all you. right. Have a good one, guys, and bye-bye.